Thank God, it's a Friday! Hello po muli sa inyo lahat at welcome sa Friday edition ng The Stock Market Today, June 18, 2021. Ito po ang inyong lingkod, Benji Chadoro. Ako po isang retired bank officer who started to invest in the Philippine stock market in 2007. And I do this report daily, which I started August of last year. I also report the latest news on your favorite and most active stocks. If you like the content, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have stocks in mind that you want reviewed, please comment on the comment box and I will prioritize. Ang balita po natin ay tungkol sa Jollibee at AGI at ang resulta ng trading sa ating PSE ngayong araw, June 18, 2021 dito lamang sa The Stock Market Today. Okay po, yung first item po natin from the business world, Jollibee offers discount to vaccinated customers. Several brands under Jollibee Food Corps are offering vaccinated customers a 10% discount as part of a private sector initiative to encourage the public to get inoculated against the coronavirus disease 2019 or the rise known as COVID-19. This discount promo is our way to thank our customers for getting vaccinated. Jollibee Group Chief Sustainability and Public Affairs Officer Jose Miniana said in a statement Wednesday, "The vaccine is the solution that we have seen, we have been waiting for to protect ourselves from our loved ones as well as help revive our economy and livelihood." They added, "Vaccinated customers of Jollibee, Chow King, Mang Inasal, Greenwich, Red Ribbon." Burger King, Panda Express, and Fall24 may avail of the discount by presenting their vaccine card along with a valid ID. Specific terms for each discount promo, promo are available on the brand's Facebook pages. The 10% promo may be availed for as many times as they want when they dine in at restaurants until the end of August. So that's good news. Magpabakunat po kayo. Coordinate with your LGU. For That's for Jollibee. And I think some other restaurants are also offering some perks on vaccinated customers. So, abagan po natin. And then our next news is on AGI. Alliance Global Group benefits from strong sales in overseas markets. Alliance Global Group has benefited from strong sales in foreign markets amid negative impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on domestic businesses. The Underton-led conglomerate received a big boost from the increasing contribution of its foreign operations. Even amid the global pandemic, AGI Chief Executive Officer Kevin Tan said during the company's annual stockholders meeting yesterday. The pandemic brought us a lot of learnings, the most important of which is that it allowed us to validate the soundness of our businesses as well as the effectiveness of the group's strategies, Tan said. At the height of the pandemic and the hard lockdowns that impacted the global economy last, economy last year, AGI raked revenues from its international whiskey and brandy operations under Operador, which contributes the biggest share of 41% to AGI's consolidated revenues during the period. Its whiskey business is held by wholly owned Scotland-based White and McKay, while its premium brandy deres operations are carried out by Bodegas Fundador in Spain. All of White and McKay's single malt whiskey brands are growing in the UK, Europe, US, Canada, and Asia, Dan said. AGI's interest span real estate developments through property giant Mega World Corp, spirits manufacturing through Emperor, leisure and entertainment and hospitality through Travelers International Hotel Group, quick service restaurants through Golden Arches Development Corp, Etuyu McDonald's, and infrastructure development through InfraCorp. 
foreign property sales through Mega World International also delivered significantly for the group despite the pandemic, Tan said. Now, may I share with you the commentary of uh, BDO Nomura on that news. Ang sabi niya dito, we see earnings recovery and growth for AGI units Meg and Emperador. We expect Meg to show sequential recovery in the second half of 2021 given increased construction activities as lockdown restrictions ease. For Emperador, we estimate full year 21 forecast sales to grow by 8.8% due to the strong demand for its whiskey products in key markets. However, we are neutral on Emperador as we think the stock is fairly valued at current levels and on AGI due to the timing uncertainties on recovery of travelers in the GADC. We prefer MEG with a target price of 430 for better upside potential. Okay, so that's uh, the commentary on AGI. And now let's go to the Philippine Stock Exchange Index. Okay, the PSEI lost uh, 36.54 points on a profit-taking Friday or 0.53% to end at 6851.38. Actually, it follows the U.S. sentiment, ano? Kasi bumaba yung S&P and I think the Dow Jones also went down. And you RSI niya still bullish at 61, pero this is just a short red candlestick. And uh, normally during Fridays, the PSEI ends in the red. Exception siya kung in the green, ano? but uh, most of the time it ends in the red dahil like profit taking uh, yung mga traders. On the market summary, 106 companies declined. 98 advanced while 46 remained unchanged. The all share index also declined by 0.43%, while the industrials and uh, services ended in the green, but the financials, holding companies, mining, and properties ended in the red. As for the market status, we will be reviewing the top 10, but before I do that, let me acknowledge first the comments of the following subscribers and viewers. Thank you nga pala po sa inyong pag-view sa akin at pag-subscribe. George Anthony C. or Anthony George C. says, Thank you for the reviews. Much appreciated. You're welcome, Anthony George. Also, T TGBTG also commented, Thank you, Sir Benji, for the analysis. Keep it up. God bless. Thank you also, TGBTG. And um, also, there is another comment here from Maki Uso. Sabi niya, Ang galing naman po ng entry niyo sa Converge. Actually, maganda naman ang fundamentals kasi ng Converge. Kaya, I believed in the stock. Kaya binili ko siya. Kaya sa, nasa 15 plus or 16. Maso 15 ko siya nabili. Pa-review naman ng Meg. Okay, I'll do that. And I think I did a partial review on Meg kanina kasi AGI was uh, in the news. Marami po kasing naririnig na nag-sell sila sa opinion ko. Napaka-unreasonable naman mag-sell sa ganitong price compared to the valuation. Okay, so we will be reviewing Meg at yan ang unahin natin Maki Uso. Okay, so let's start now with Meg. Part of the AGI group to. Okay, Mega World Corporation all declined also and it is in general, it's moving sideways. Kasi yung moving average niya Yung 20 tsaka 50 are pier piercing through that candlestick itself. Nasa 311 siya. It lost 8 centavos today or 2.51. Pero sideways po in general ang kanyang movement with the short term support. I can place it here at uh, 306. Yun po yung short term support niya. And the short term resistance lagay natin sa 
the 100 day exponential moving average at 330. So yun po ang short term support. Another support level that I see lower than that would be here at uh, three, 297 to 3 pesos. Yan po for MEG. However, based on uh, fundamentals, ang fundamentals, ang target price po based on the study of BDO Nomura of the stock is uh, 4 pesos and 30 centavos. Yun po ang target price niya. And uh, since nag-close siya today at 3.11, so more or less ang upside niya would be about 34%. Yun po. So based on fundamentals, may upside pa tayo ng 34%. And uh, ako naniniwala po ako na fundamentals precedes the technicals. And therefore, I think that uh, the stock will still go up based on uh, Numura study. Now, ang tunay na presyo ng stock is 4 pesos and 30 centavos. Plus, yung upside po, no? Kasi maganda po yung, yung stock na AGI and the economy is opening up, real estate company po si, uh, si Mega World. Eh. Yes, Mega World is a real estate company and yung potential po, yung upside potential po ay napakaganda. So, after uh, Meg, let's uh, see SMPH. Okay, SMPH also declined, lost 95 centavos, almost 1 peso. And, uh, Movement-wise, it is uh, sideways. The RSI is uh, neither bullish nor bearish. Neutral shot at 48. So yung pinaka-resistance level short term is at 38. While the support is here at support level na po itong 36. So when I talk of support and resistance, these are not exact points, but these are areas. And then si Ali. Okay, Ali also declined. Now, approximately moving sideways. The RSI is um, 52. Well, neutral to bullish. Pero since there are two red candlesticks, tendency po niyan ay bumagsak pa. Pero Friday kasi is a profit-taking day. So let's uh, take a look on Monday. Kasi most likely tataas pa po si Ayala Land given that only the short term Emma 20 is um, piercing through the candlestick and the 100 day and 50 day exponential moving average is still under the closing price. And then BDO. BDO nag profit taking din to. Yan. Okay. Nag profit take siya. Actually yung resistance level niya nasa 116 to 117 eh. So nag take profit na ako sa 116 actually before na bumagsak siya no actually i was thinking of selling at 117 pero di na bale okay na yung 116 so just a matter of um, 1 peso no anyway i don't uh, hold much bdo but um, a profit is a, still a profit okay na rin yung 116 so bumagsak siya sa 113 and the next uh, Resistance level, nakikita ko siya sa 110 to 111. So after BDO, ICT. Okay, ICT continues to move upwards and there is volume. Continuing. Though fundamentally, it's the price is just 150, but it continues to move upwards kasi ang ganda ng momentum niya based on the technical. So, so if we'll draw a parallel channel, the orange line, which is the EMA20, follows the lower channel. Yan po. If we will be drawing a channel. Yan po yung support natin, yung EMA20, which is at uh, 148.73. Now, again, support and resistance po, hindi po yan exact points, but these are areas. Now, this is the highest level already. This 52-week high. Ingat lang po tayo dahil overbought na po yung stock. Then after ICT, CSM. Okay, SM moving sideways to bullish. 
uh, RSI is uh, uh, bullish number at 55. So nag-recover siya today, although it's still in general moving sideways to bullish. Kung lalagyan natin to ng say Adarvas box. More or less yan po yung movement niya. So 110, 1020 yung upper and uh, 970 yung lower. When I talk of support and resistance, areas po yan, hindi yan po yan, exact points. Yan, dyan lang po siya naglalaro in the short term. So after SM, MBT. Okay, MBT, nag-profit taking then, although there's a long week here. At one point, it had a low of 47.55, but it recovered to 48.90. So it is still bullish since our indicators are under the candlestick and the RSI is bullish at 57. So upward trend pa po si MBT unless we see another red candlestick which will confirm nan at nag-cross na po sa EMA20 on the short term, masasabi po natin na nagbago na po yung trend. Then JGS, I think they got over with the fried towel, ano? Okay, JGS, or J, I'm sorry, J, I was speaking of Jollibee, but this is JGS, 63 pesos, gained, or it ended flat, but generally the stock is bullish, as the RSI is already at 69.5, almost overbought. So, medyo, ano ito po ito? Bullish trend po si JGS with the support level let's place the support at m100 at 59.42 uh, the next resistance level nasa 6750 to 67.60 then finally we have tel actually si tel is undervalued yeah no 12.61 kung meron lang po kung hunting funds pa then i will invest in tel kasi Napakababa niya. Actually, it has reached a resistance level. Actually, resistant, lower resistance niya would be here at 12.39. Pero 12.61 is already good. Yung fundamentally, ang telpo, ang tunay na pressure niya is nasa 1,604. 1, I think yun yung kabidi o numura. Yan po. Yung tunay na pressure ng tel. Kaya right now, it is undervalued eh, at 12.61. Kaya napakagandang bumili. Now, the nearest resistance of tel would be here. Pero good price pa rin within this range if you buy it. And uh, if you buy on the long term, then maganda yung appreciation. Well, it's for appreciation. No? Capital appreciation actually na bumili kayo ng tel plus it gives good dividends yan po ang ating report sa stock market June 18, 2021 ito po si Benji Chidoro nagpapaalala magingat sa COVID, magpabakuna an investment in knowledge pays the best interest, maraming salamat sa inyong pagtangkilik at hanggang sa muli enjoy your weekend God bless, bye for now